So if you guys weren't aware today, Mojang released an update to Minecraft where they changed a lot of the textures. You can see that everything's a lot more simplified. The game runs a whole lot better. Uh, here's just some textures, for example, coal stone. Um, but that's not the main focus of this video. So I was checking out a lot of these new textures uh, and I came down into a cave system to see uh, what was up, to see more of these textures. I wanted to see what the lava looked like. And then I came across this and uh, I was a little bit confused as to what this was. I didn't know what all this was. And I sort of just assumed that it was something new. So if I give myself a diamond pickaxe and change myself to survival uh, and i mine this stuff here uh you'll come to see that it is in fact bitcoin ore and i was a little bit uh set back at this because the video i uploaded like a couple of days ago was actually just uh, throwing a joke at bitcoin and minecraft and then come to see this update today they've actually added something to the game to do with it so i was a little bit confused and i was a little bit hesitant but this seems like a good business move from mojang because what they've done in this update is they've made the game a whole lot easier to run any kid could run this on anything that can take java but also adding Bitcoin to the game just also sort of reels in a little bit more attention to Minecraft. Why mine Bitcoin when you can play Minecraft and mine Bitcoin in Minecraft? I can see that they're trying to hit that Roblox audience or, or that Fortnite audience. Hey, why play those games when you can play Minecraft and have Bitcoin? Hey, smart move on their part. So once we have our ore and we put it into a furnace, what this is going to do is smelt the Bitcoin ore down into a Bitcoin block. And once we have three Bitcoin blocks, what we can do is we can put those three blocks together and make ourselves a blockchain, which is actually pretty cool you're teaching some people who aren't too educated on crypto or bitcoin or anything to do with that stuff uh, about it so once we have our blockchain it takes three blocks to craft one blockchain if i just punch out a little hole down here i think we need it to be like three or four deep i'm just gonna do five to be safe and we toss that blockchain in there what we need is an anvil and when you put the anvil down here uh, it's going to turn that blockchain into a Bitcoin. Now, this was like the most confusing part of the update because for the life of me, I could not figure out what to do with the blockchains. I was like, I got my blockchains. How do I turn this into a Bitcoin? Now, when it comes to cashing out your Bitcoin from Minecraft into an actual Bitcoin wallet, you need to get them properly. I can't cash this Bitcoin out because this world is a creative world and I've cheated. There's no way of cashing this out um, because if, if you could do that, it would, you would just have infinite. Like you got to work for it. So what I did was I actually have my own survival world. And what I did in that survival world was I went and I spawned in a bunch of new terrain, managed to find some of the ore. The ore is actually really, really hard to find. Crafted that into my own Bitcoin. And what you have to do is when you come to the end, if you toss a fully legit Bitcoin into the end, it will cash out into your wallet. Now you're probably wondering, how does it going to go to my wallet? How does it know what wallet? Like, how does it know my address? Like, how does it know what I'm sending it to? This is where it gets even more confusing. So I've got a fresh wallet right here. I've got the Electrum wallet. This is a completely fresh wallet. There is nothing in it. And then over here is my Minecraft client. Then what you want to do is you want to try to fit your wallet under your Minecraft client. Uh, your client doesn't need to be any specific size. So I'm just going to make it this uh, sort of awkward size. Uh, and then once we throw, the coin will appear into our wallet. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer, but since we're not at like a super peak time right now, it should be pretty instant. So let me toss this in and let's see how long this is going to take. Oh, there we go. That was actually, that wasn't too bad. That was like, what, like five, five, six seconds. That was pretty instant. That was, that was quick. Now, if you guys didn't know, the current price of Bitcoin is just under $7,000. It's about an hour to find the three Bitcoin ores to make the, the one Bitcoin. So probably about $7,000-ish dollars an hour, which I mean, if you want to work 24-7 and, 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 you know, grind and, and play Minecraft all day, it's probably a viable thing to make some money. But unless it goes up in price, uh, it's, it's probably just a waste of time. But still, nonetheless, this is a pretty cool feature. Uh, and a pretty cool way of getting people new into crypto. So it's a very casual way of, you know, mining. You don't have to set up some sort of mining. You don't need a crazy rig. You can literally just play Minecraft and, and find the coins in Minecraft. So yeah, if you guys have any questions on this, let me know in the comment section down below. But apart from that, enjoy your April Fool's Day today, guys. LOL.